Drop it. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's the Sandbox Survivor and today we are playing some Minecraft on Windows 10 Edition. So I hope you enjoyed my last PUBG video. It got some really good feedback overnight and over, well, this is like two days now. Over like the last two days, I didn't upload yesterday just to give myself a little bit of a break. But I'm back and I'm giving you the Minecraft video that I promised. Um, so today we're going to be getting into a little bit of a tips guide on like my personal top 10 favourite blocks to use when it comes to building in Minecraft Creative and Survival. So if you do like this video then please remember to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below what you liked and what you didn't like. And also remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell to notify you when I'm going to be uploading next. Um, so thank you so much for getting me to 291 subscribers. We keep on sort of like teetering on the edge of getting to 300. So if you do, did really really like this video, remember to hit that subscribe button so I can make sure that you guys are liking the content so I can pump more stuff out. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. So, coming in at number one, we have the hay bale. And I really do like the hay bale when it comes to medieval building. I try to implement it as much as I can, especially around stable builds. Um, any, anything related with farming, you can really go to town with how you use this uh, block. It is quite a nice block to look at also. Oh, I missed the... I didn't click it. I haven't used uh, an Xbox controller in ages. So I am, using, I am playing the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft. And... Uh, I am not using an Xbox, I am using playing the Windows 10 edition. Um, I wanted to use a controller just to get a little bit more nostalgia from when I used to play it on the Xbox. See if I still had the knack for using the controller. Uh, it's, it's still there, kind of. Um, but yeah, I do use this block a lot. And like you can see, you can really make some nice patterns with it. You can really, really make sure that when it comes to making um, medieval like stables or grounds, you can really put, uh, you can get some. Uh, where is it? You need to get some is that a snow. I need to find some carpet. If you get carpet, there you go. There we are. So if you get this, 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 uh, this, 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 and then like that, you can really make a cool little stable design build where it looks like there's hay strewn all over the floor. It, it does make it look really, really nice. So that's block number one. I do use that a lot and you'll probably see it in quite a lot of my builds. So the next block is smooth cut sandstone as it's known in uh, 1.14 update. Before it was just smooth sandstone but obviously you have to use this little uh, uh, cutty thingy majiggy yo this thing to cut up this and this so yeah. Um, I do use this in a lot of my builds. It, I like contrast in the colours, it's a nice colour to use on your floor and to break up all the darker colours of logs and stuff and obviously like crafting tables and storages because they're quite dark themselves so I use this quite a lot, I used it in my big survival base that you l l just saw, the one on the stream and the one uh, that I did the tour base on so yeah I use that a lot, that smooth cut sandstone. Um, this next block I haven't ever used, but I just noticed it scrolling down in the panel, and I thought, "Wow, it is a, is a nice block." So I, I, I looked at the terracotta glazed terracotta blocks, and it's the, uh, the black glazed terracotta. I think it looks really nice. Um, I, you could use it in like a, I, I don't think you could really use it in a medieval build, but you could really, really use it in like an evil lair maybe, or in a futuristic build, quirky build, anything like that. Go for it. Um, so my next one is actually another function block. Uh, this one is basically a storage and it's new to 1.14. It doesn't replace the chest because we still have the chest in the game. But it's just another form of storage if you wanted to use it instead of the chest. Because obviously the chest has been around for a long time now. But what I do like about the barrel is it is obviously more like a block. And it's not... The, the chest sort of sits a little bit into the block. So with the barrel it covers up the whole block and you could you could really make some uh, decent builds with this uh, you, look, in a medieval world that could be a wine dispenser it could be anything and I do like the side designs you can sort of stack them how you want you know it does really work it does I, I like it uh, I think it's the same amount of storage capacity so yeah that's the barrel so going on to the bookshelf this is my favorite block for two reasons number one is that you really need it to make an enchanted table 
uh, that is fully powered. So without that, you are pretty stuffed. Um, you do need it. Uh, in survival, you should be stacking your bookshelves as such. You can make redstone stars of this where this just pops out the floor. I'm pretty sure this is how it goes. I haven't really played survival for a while, but there you go. Um, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 that you're going to need to fully power your enchantment table. Um, but the block itself is really nice to use in sort of like a a homely setting, making your, your... Oh, I disconnected my controller. See, this is the only problem with using a controller. It's so much easier on keyboard and mouse, but I just wanted to have a go using it. Um, yeah, the enchant no, the enchanting table. The bookshelf can be used as like a design piece. Can you get out of here? Go away. Be gone. I will punch you to death. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. So it's sort of like homely areas, homely settings, any sort, of, anything like that. Bookshelves go. Um, the next one I use in absolutely every build. And if you don't catch me building it, call the doctor. I am ill. I am ill, and it's not your YouTuber. Sandbox Survivor, it is some stranger behind the mic. I use this block in everything. Um, I think it's a great, great block to get a standalone difference from really dark colours to really light colours, and it just sits in between really nicely. I do use the slabs more than the blocks. The block's only just been added to the game. Oh, I didn't pick it up. So this is the slab, and I use this all the time, but they just added a block, and I can't wait to start using it in my builds in the Hermit Craft world. So the next one is all the blocks uh, that are logs within the game that are mineable. Um, I like them all, other than maybe birch. I don't think I'd use it in a like the sense I'd use all the other ones in, but I would definitely still use maybe the front of it. But all of these are really nice to build with, especially when making medieval builds or sort of homely builds. Maybe they are really nice to use. So trying to get them into your builds as much as you can it adds a little bit of a natural factor to your builds rather than it just being blocks 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 breaks it up a lot um, the next one is all types of stone brick uh, you've got mossy cracked chiseled and normal and they all look really good obviously you can make them like I said again I think you make them obviously you can still make them in your inventory but you get more making them off of this stone cutter um, but they look really nice in old rustic sort of builds, medieval builds. Uh, they just they're a step step up from cobblestone because literally everybody uses cobblestone. I think it's ugly in my opinion. I don't use it for a ground. Maybe if I was using, maybe making a courtyard for a castle. So yeah, all of them I would use. And now this next one is another function block that's just been added in 1.14. It is the campfire, and you can cook food on it, which I think is really nice. I keep on doing that. Alright, where let's get some little fishies. So this one, yeah, you can cook on it and it is really cool. Um you can make nice little chimney designs, I think, with this. So if I got this, that, and if I got maybe this with a little bit of that. If I went dub 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 uh maybe right, get that in the middle. Oh that and then that and then and then the and then the and then uh, like that. Go get me a campfire. Yep, there you go. You can make a really cool chimney just like that. You don't have to use those stupid cobwebs anymore to make chimneys. So there's another design thing that you can do. I obviously other than it being like really good to use. There you go, it's cooked our, cooked our Sam. Um, you can make nice little chimney designs out of it, and obviously it looks pretty cool if you're making like a little campsite setting. It's got like burning coals underneath, I think it's really cool. So the next block is definitely an end game block. You will not be using this really at the start of your game, and you probably, actually probably won't be using this in your survival builds at all, but it's really nice to build, in, build within creative. It's the end stone bricks. Um, oh, I keep on doing that by accident. So this block is basically that block, just sandy. <laughs> so it's really nice to use, but you probably won't be using it much in your builds. Uh, works really well in desert building, uh, medieval building, anything like that. And now this last block is blue packed 
the back to ice, I'm pretty sure it is called. I can't exactly remember. That's it there. Blue ice it's called. And that was added in 1.13, the aquatic update, where they added the big uh, icebergs and stuff. So that's really cool. Um, I like using it in futuristic builds mainly. It's like maybe like power generators and stuff. It does work in a medieval build, maybe if you're making like a kingdom treasury or something and you can put it in there, make it like a different diamond block. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm not a massive fan of the new diamond block design. Um, but yeah, so that is all the blocks that I would implement in 1.14 Survival and Creative. So if you did like this video then please give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you liked and what you didn't like. We're nearly there, 300 subs, so if you really enjoyed this video then please click the subscribe button, pressing the notification bell to notify you when I'm going to be uploading the video next. Um, and if you did like me playing on maybe the Windows 10 edition uh, for tips and tricks and obviously the Java edition for survival, let me know in the comment section down below, let me know what you thought. Um, and also let me tell... Uh, Ooh, my words are getting mixed up today. Uh, tell me if you liked my little mushroom skin. I think it's really cool. Uh, so this has been the Sandbox Survivor. And I will see you in the next video. I'm going to cue the outro now. Peace out, guys. Have a good day.